Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be using our Ninja Creamy to make sugarless high protein chocolate chip ice cream. So you ready? Let's get into this. For this recipe, we have our Kroger Carb Master Milk, some egg yolks, some dimatized hydrolyzed chocolate whey protein. This is different from other types due to the fact that it's got almost no cholesterol, so remember that. Some Lily's no sugar added dark chocolate chips, and a little bit of monk fruit sweetener. If you'd like to make this recipe, all the ingredients and measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the protein, the carbs, and the fat. To start off, we're gonna take a medium-sized mixing bowl and then we're gonna put in our egg yolks. Next, we're gonna go ahead and use a whisk and just whisk these up until they get nice and smooth. You'll probably have to whisk these for about a minute to get them that way. You'll be able to tell when they're ready because the color will start to lighten up and they'll stay really consistent when you pour them around in here. And once it looks like this, we're ready for our next step. Next, we'll add in the monk fruit sweetener. And you're gonna to wanna to stir that in also until you don't see any little white granule bits of that sweetener anywhere in there. And then we'll add in our milk. Stir that in also. And last, we're gonna add in our whey protein. The diametized whey proteins mix really well, but you may or may not be using that brand. In any case, you're gonna to wanna to put this in here in small increments and stir it in just to make sure it doesn't start clumping or anything like that. If you can't get it to mix perfectly, don't worry about it too much because when it goes on the stove, it's gonna combine a little bit better anyway. We just wanna do as much of the heavy lifting now as we possibly can. Once you've got that combined, we're gonna pour that into a medium saucepan and we're gonna heat this on medium heat until we get our mix to about 180 degrees. If you have a digital thermometer like this, it's gonna be really helpful. If you don't have one, recommend getting one. Be sure to stir this every so often just to make sure that nothing burns on the sides of the pan or anything like that. Once you reach about 180 degrees, you can pull this off of the stove and you can do one of two things. You can either pour it back into a mixing bowl and cool it down in the refrigerator or we can go ahead and pour it straight into our creamy pint now. Just be sure not to fill the pint past the scoopable max fill line. At this point, if you've already cooled this down in the refrigerator, you can go ahead and stick the lid on and we can throw this in the freezer overnight. We want it to remain there for at least 24 hours to make sure it freezes all the way through. If you poured it hot directly into your creamy pint, then we're gonna to wanna to leave our lid off and then we can go ahead and throw this in the freezer just like this, but we're gonna to wanna to leave the lid off until this cools down. So I'd give it maybe 30 minutes or so before I put that on and that way you'll prevent a whole bunch of ice crystals from forming. Many months later. Once it's been 24 hours, we can go ahead and pull our chocolate ice cream out of the freezer. A lot of times when you process ice cream in the Ninja Creamy, you end up with a little bit of a granule result, and that's usually because the mix is still too cold. We can do two different things. We can either let this sit out for about 20 minutes or so, or we can just process it, and if we get that granule result, we can fix it. That's the route we're gonna take. So we can remove this lid, Pop this in the creamy pitcher, throw on the lid, lock it into place, and we can put the pitcher in the machine and lock it in. Go ahead and turn on your machine, and then we'll select how much of this ice cream we're gonna process right now. In our case, we're just gonna do the top half for now. So hit the top button. Since we're gonna be really low on fat and we're not using actual sugar, we're gonna put this on light ice cream, and we can go ahead and process this. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. All right, now that this is finished, let's go ahead and check our results. And as you can see, we have that granule thing that I was talking about. That's not really a big deal. I'm gonna show you how to fix it, but we were gonna to have to use a respin anyway because we have to add in our chocolate chips. So we'll add in just a little bit of extra Carb Master milk on the top. Not too much, just enough to get it a little bit wet. You don't wanna to put too much in there, otherwise it's gonna make the ice cream too soft. Then we're gonna add in the dark chocolate chips here at the same time. Keep in mind, I only processed the top half, so I'm only gonna use half of these chocolate chips. 
If you did the entire pint, then obviously you would use the whole thing. Throw the lid back on and lock it. Stick it back in the machine. Select the top half once again. Back to light ice cream. And now, instead of hitting the start button, we're just gonna hit the respin button instead. One side note, if the ice cream had already come out the way we wanted it and we didn't have to respin it, then we would have just put the chocolate chips in and hit the mix in button instead. But since we had to do both, that's why I used the respin button. Okay, let's check that result. And look at that. It's almost like we've done this before. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. Chocolate chip ice cream is awesome, but you know what? It's not the only ice cream that's got chips in it. Is there a particular kind that you like more than chocolate? Let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the Ninja Creamy Deluxe that we use in this video, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't affect the price that you pay one cent. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.